According to OECD statistics, countries with shorter working hours tend to have higher labor productivity. In Korea's case, the hours are long and hence, productivity is low. However, despite the general consensus calling for reform of the long hours culture prevalent in Korean society, concerns are also being raised over the negative impact a cutback in working hours would have on productivity. Then, how would productivity be affected? KDI analyzed the impact of the standard 40-hour workweek, the most recently implemented policy to reduce working hours, on the labor productivity of 11,692 manufacturing establishments with 10 or more employees. The policy reduced the workweek from 44 hours to 40 and was gradually implemented across the country according to industry and size of establishment from 2004 to 2011. The results show that the reduction in the work week increased output per worker by 1.5%. The observed improvement of labor productivity was mainly found in sectors that previously had long working hours. In addition, the changes in labor productivity was not significant before the reduction in the work week, but became so immediately upon the initiation of the policy. These results suggest that the reduction caused the improvement in labor productivity. The study found that the reduction in labor productivity was not significant before the reduction in the work week, but became so immediately upon the initiation of the policy. 근로 시간이 단축되더라도 노동 생산성이 높아지면서 근로자의 총 생산량은 감소하지 않거나 오히려 더 증가할 수 있음을 시사합니다. 투입보다는 산출에 따라 보상해서 짧고 효율적으로 일하는 것이 유리하도록 유도해야 합니다. 근로 시간 단축 과정에서 불필요한 업무를 제거하고 인력과 자원을 효율적으로 재배치한다면 기업의 생산성과 경쟁력은 강화될 수 있습니다. 최근 논의 중인 근로시간 단축을 통한 일자리 창출도 근로시간 단축 그 자체보다는 근로시간 단축이 기업의 생산성과 경쟁력을 강화시키는 방향으로 진행될 때 실현된다는 점을 유념해야 합니다. <목소리>